Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I am Yogesh Kalra. In this short video, we will review the celebrated book, The One Minute Manager. The book gives three simple tools for effective management. These tools are number one, one minute goal setting, number two, one minute praising, and number three, one minute reprimand. In this video, we will look at how one minute goal setting works. The book suggests that an effective manager is one who sets clear goals. The manager writes the goal in not more than 250 words and gives it to the team member. It is called a one minute goal because it is very brief and can be read in one minute. The team can refer to it quickly if they have any doubt. Let me give you a black demo and a white demo. In the army, we explain things by first demonstrating as to how something should not be done. We call it the black demo. We then demonstrate as to how it should be done. We call it the white demo. For today, let me start with the white demo. Back in 2008, I had a commanding officer named Colonel Satish Gupta. We were in a logistics battalion in Pathan Court in Punjab. Our trucks carried all kinds of logistics supplies rations, clothing, equipment, etc. from Pathan Court to Ladakh for thousands of Indian Army soldiers deployed there. Average trip duration was 15 to 20 days. And mind you, they were not driving a Toyota Fortuner. They, they were driving a 10 ton truck through narrow roads. Each day, they would halt at a place with less temperature and less oxygen. And unlike an adventure trip, they would do it multiple times in a season from May to September when the road is open. Naturally, when our soldiers came back after a trip, they would have feedbacks about the problems they had faced during the trip. We did receive the feedback, but we were not dealing with it in a structured manner. Sometimes a soldier came and left the battalion again the next day. This is what Colonel Gupta, the quintessential one minute manager, asked me to do. Yogesh, from today onwards, all drivers who return from Ladakh will line up in front of my office at 8.30 a.m. sharp the next day. We will interview them and hear their feedback. We will note down the problem areas and solve them within 15 days. The interview must get over before 9 a.m. every day so that their daily routine is not disturbed. We will then update the entire battalion on the issues received and actions taken in the monthly all hands meeting. Well, that is just 81 words, but each word is crystal clear. And I can't tell you how much these 81 words accomplished. When during his next trip, our soldier found that his issue had been addressed, he was thrilled. From a cog in a giant wheel, he had suddenly become an important stakeholder whose feedback and whose comfort really mattered. What it did for our soldiers' motivation was truly incredible and all that was accomplished without any unnecessary talk of strategy and synergy and other management mumbo jumbo. So that was the right way. Now let's look at the black demo. I had a friend Rahul whose manager was a master at how the goal should not be set. Let us call the manager Mr. D. D for doubtful. One day Rahul came running to me with his notepad. He had just finished a 30 minutes meeting with Mr. D. This is what Mr. D had told Rahul. Rahul, we need to take a decision on so and so matter. I want you to collect the data from 25 other companies. Once we have that data, we'll see what, which way we would go. So what is the problem I asked? Get the data. It turned out that Rahul had many problems with this task. This is what he told me. Yogesh, firstly, the matter is so simple that I don't understand the purpose of collecting data. I said, Rahul, you should have asked him the purpose. Rahul said, I did. That is when things got worse. He spoke words like strategy and synergy and looking at things from 10,000 feet, which were completely irrelevant to our discussion. The goal was already confusing, but the purpose he stated was downright nonsense. And you know the worst thing? You know what he would do with the data when we finally get it? He would do nothing. He would take it and put it in the cold storage. 
Now think for a moment, why Mr. D is not able to say two simple things in plain English? One, this is what I want you to do. And two, this is why I want you to do it. I think the main reason is that Mr. D himself is not clear about the goal and its purpose. Now that is a very serious issue. If you are yourself not clear, you are not able to communicate the goal to yourself. And if you can't communicate it to yourself, how can you ever hope to communicate it to someone else? So my dear managers, before you speak to your team members in the office or to your kids at home, do these three things. First and foremost, make up your own mind what you want them to do and why. Secondly, communicate your message in clear and simple language. And three, what do you do once the task is done? We'll look at that in the next video. May God bless you.